I wasn't even going to make that video. I actually set out to make a video comparing stock footage sites and showing you guys which are the best stock footage sites, where to get good stock footage, what is bad stock footage, and which ones to avoid. I'm going to do this video anyway because I've already planned the whole thing out. So I'm going to show you the good stock footage sites where you can get authentic stock footage because I'm really liking the more cinematic real stuff in my videos for clients. I'm making more ads like Masterclass, not for Masterclass, but very similar, where you really want the authentic looking B-roll, not the cheesy stock footage and i'll show you the difference in this video there's a couple of sites to go through there's one site that you're going to be surprised that i'm going to tell you to avoid like the plague just before we get into it i don't want to give you some big sales pitch i'll just give you a little one making videos is great but making money from videos is even better long story short you probably know my story if not five years i've been making videos i started at 40 dollars. i got top seller on fiverr i get clients through social media and i do nearly a hundred thousand dollars a year i've put everything i've learned into two short courses one for fiverr one for social media put them together in a nice little package called the freelance starter kit and this isn't just cookie cutter advice so for example create your perfect offer in the create the fiverr gig course this stuff that i'm teaching you even if you're thinking i don't use fiverr the stuff i teach in here is marketing sales and copyright and stuff that i learn from reading all these books from having to learn it to survive out of my corporate job and so i'm going to show you how to craft an offer craft a headline that'll make people click write your copy so that it sells it close your messages charge what you're worth i'll show you all of it in the fiverr gig then the social media blueprint the same seven step thing that i've used over the years to get clients messaging me i never pick up the phone i never send cold messages if i need clients i just go back to my best clients i say hey i'm open for a video i'm booked up for months literally so if you want to make money with your creative services not just videos then this course 33 videos in here absolute gold you can come into my group as well and just say you're in the Fiverr gig course, people will be like, woohoo, and then just get it done. Don't look back, follow the steps. It'll be pretty hard not to get results. So I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, but I don't wanna take up your time. Let's get into site number one. So number one is good old Pexels. Pexels is completely free. I thought I'd start with a free one. So let's just put like office worker in here. These are all completely free, royalty free. The good thing is here you can search by horizontal and vertical and you can see the kind of videos that you get in here. They did actually start charging for a bit, but now they just looks like they just promote iStock in the middle, which we'll actually get to as well. You can see a lot of this footage is that kind of cheesy stock footage looking stuff. Also, it's gonna be quite hard to get consistent scenes, the same character throughout if that's what you're going for. When I'm in a pinch and I just need some footage, Paxos is a great place to go. Here's an example of really staged, like canned stock footage. This just doesn't look like your typical office. It looks very uh, set up. Again, here's another video. It's very corporate, very kind of, I don't know. There's something about it that looks staged and set up. Whereas this, I think this actually looks more authentic. Just looks like someone busy. There's not too much of a set, if you know what I mean. They haven't really set up the environment to make it really look like they're in an office. But so that's what I think is the difference between good stock footage and bad stock footage like this. Looks pretty canned. This looks pretty canned. So Pexels is great in a pinch. It's completely free. If you don't, if you're not trying to make something cinematic, you can get some good stuff here. So let's go into the next one. Film Pack is actually what I used for the video and the thing i love about film pack is if i go to footage i can go to models and when you go to models you can pick the same person so this is the woman this is the uh woman who was like in the shower uh she was in the shower with the other dude the other guy's unhappy but i clicked on her and this is how i got inspiration there's 875 clips so it was like actually quite easy to go through and find enough clips of her happy of her sad and then of her with someone and then on her own you've got a lot of the more like cinematic authentic looking footage with film pack they also do have music and sound effects but i don't actually use them for music and sound effects but film pack does come with a price this is probably the most expensive stock footage site you can see spotify nasa amazon masterclass funny i just mentioned them they use this site as well I think it's $799 a year, but I've left a link in the description which should give you a discount if you do wanna make 
the higher budget, higher quality looking things, sometimes the stock footage can just make or break the video. Also, another great feature if we go back to our main guy here is if you click on the clip, it's going to give you a bunch of other clips kind of the same as that clip. So if I click this one, it's going to give me all his related clips together. So you see more from this scene. So you can really pick the scene and you can cut camera angles with the same actor and it does really help you uh, build a story with a video. So yeah, Film Pack, definitely the most premium subscription service. Not the most expensive though, that one is to come. Artlist is my favorite. I love Artlist for similar reasons actually. Let's put stressed in an office because we all love putting people stressed in an office in videos. So I've got the max plan. So I've got footage, music and sound effects. So Artlist pretty much is where I get 90% of the uh, stuff that I use. Again, you have got like the canned footage, but there is a lot of better looking stuff in here as well. And the same thing, if you click on the clip, you can get all the related clips. So you could definitely make a film like I just made, that little short film using Artlist as well, by joining these clips together. And then if you click buy El Zorotto, as Zorotto, you can go and find more clips. So it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a web. You go down a little rabbit hole with the clip and you can start putting things together, finding similar shot clips by the same artist. The music in Artlist is great. I love it. I get all my music from Artlist. You can search by mood, genre. So for example, for that kind of music that I just put, I think I actually just went video theme and then trailer and i just played through a few trailers i found one that worked i had to cut the end drag it in just to make it fit the story but artlist overall for an all-in-one package artlist is the best you can get two months free if you use the link in the description it helps me out at no extra cost to you in fact it saves you money if you're like a semi-serious creator and you need a good stock footage site with consistent film style clips then artlist is going to be the one because you get the music sound effects footage there is some templates in here but it's just not quite as good as some of the other options out there so the next one is story blocks and i use story blocks for years and i just assumed that you can get good stock footage and someone said to me once i said how do you make this video look so good he said i just pick good stock footage and i was like wait there is good stock footage like my mind was blown that there is actually good stuff which very cheesy that's all i can say about story blocks so they lean more on the goofy style of stock footage so let's just put office in here because maybe i've got ptsd from working in a corporate office but you can see a lot of this uh stuff is very staged very set up kind of stuff but when you click on the videos you do get similar footage but again it's a lot of the canned stuff and i just find if I go to Artlist and put Office, I just find immediately, look at this, it's a lot more cinematic, realistic looking stuff than Storyblocks. Also, the Storyblocks music, I never got on with it. Uh, it was very corporate and jingly. I haven't used it for a while. Maybe it's worth checking out. But they do have video templates and they probably beat Artlist on the video templates side of things. So if I put logo, you can get a lot of logo reveals here. But I do find a lot of the stuff is quite dated. The most popular stuff, like I might probably never use a lot of this for logos. But you have the option there. Sometimes I want to add a cinematic title to my videos. And with Invato Elements, you can type in cinematic title and you can get these really good titles. And what I love about using Envato Elements is like the project files work. Whereas I found with Storyblocks, sometimes the project files would be broken, things would be missing, and it just didn't seem like it was audited that well. So I might go and take like a cinematic title, uh, something stylish like this, and then I'll go and remove what I need from the template and add it into the videos that I make. So Envato Elements is a really good one to have on hand. And I think it's from 14 euros 50 a month. You can get unlimited access to this. They have got graphics and graphic design stuff, but I'm not a graphic designer, so let's just get into the next thing. So this is my secret weapon for overlays and graphics and things that I want to add that like isn't too cinematic, but can enhance a cinematic video. Whereas in Artlist, you don't really get the overlays and the graphical stuff, but this website called Vecteasy, if I go finance graph, 
you can just get tons of these video overlays which can really enhance a video maybe you want a little hud on a screen and you put a blending mode on and you can really make things just look a little bit better and Vecteasy is super cheap i think i pay nine dollars or eight dollars a month for Vecteasy. you could put something like trading in here as well and you get all these trading graphs and things like that again these just assist with adding some dimension to the video you can also get lots of textures so if i want to put something like snow falling texture we'll just see yeah you get all of these overlays that you can just add with the overlay blend mode to your videos with vect easy artlist and involved elements you really can't go wrong so i recently did a video where i needed some footage of like an old stock exchange and now this is where you're going to struggle with any subscription sites so say for example on artlist if i go to footage and put stock exchange you're going to get this kind of footage this modern canned footage but then if i go over to shutterstock and put old sh stock exchange this is where you've got a better chance of actually getting some real footage from the time if you want things like these protests for example original footage you can but it definitely comes at a price if i go to add to basket we can view this 59 pound for a clip with a standard license which probably means you can't use it on a commercial product 179 for the clip with the enhanced license but this is where you would go if you so this is 1963 civil rights and then you've got war footage and things like that so if you really need it for the client project and they've got the budget you can use this or you can go over to pond 5 and you can find similar clips i've got one here 1980s man working at a personal computer and you can find the footage there one thing that i forgot to mention about artlist as well which is great is something they're testing out if i put like mountain here a way I got the sound effects for that video was going to say I click on this video you get suggested sound effects on the side so if I click it it's going to play back what sounds might work with this clip and I started playing around with it and having good sound design really fattens up the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Artlist should have you covered. You probably don't need more than that. You can use Pexels if you just want to use something free. Pond5 and Shutterstock are the ones that I would use if I wanted to get those extra clips, but I'd probably get my clients pay for them because they're really expensive. Film Pack, the most expensive, but definitely great for carving together a story. Depends how dynamic and cinematic you want your videos to be. And then if you want to add titles and templates and things like that, Envato Elements is a great place to go. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to make money with your videos, get the Freelance Starter Kit, which is linked in the description below. There's a 90-day guarantee, so if you don't feel you get your value, which is just not going to happen because it's amazing, then send me an email. I can send your money back, no problem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.